It's guys, good interface, man. That's where we're at then. So the whole thing is, um, yeah, I used to tell that to Patrick because he hurts a lot. He's a man. So there's a song called Me Nino by the Gypsy Kings. And, excuse me, me and Zeke split the chicken alfredo. I forgot I had it in there, and I, I overate. I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> you overate? I overate. That was bad. Not a good idea. I was hungry. This list stuff makes me hungry. <laughs> Makes me really hungry. <laughs> There's two things I can do. <laughs> okay, one of them is not an option, so I eat. <laughs> I walk. <laughs> okay, two things really relax me. <laughs> the food is not. Yeah, I, I understand Oprah really well with a lot of things with the eating and she says that you know stuff like that. I don't get real big though, and I, I over I walk it off. I have a real good metabolism, a real efficient metabolism, I, and I can walk it off. And then if I start exercising. It sounds like you're just playing that card. No, it's true. If I have a very good, affectionate, wonderful sex life, my body responds really well. My psyche responds really well. Everything works really well. Oh, sh stop. <laughs> that's why I've always wanted it. I've always craved it. When I've had it, it's happened in my life. That's when everything's going great. The one time when everything got in, in Sierra Vista, but that was when the Truman Show started. When everybody was like, "Fall right, this is him, this is him," and I just got a lot of love, and it was just love, and I was surrounded, and I was protected, and a lot of people were excited, and so it, well, yeah, and I was weirding out. It was really freaking, it was freaking, freaking, freaking with my head really bad. It was hard. I was doing all kinds of crazy stuff, and I was holding it together, and they were always finding ways to help me, and it was just beautiful. I was really loved, and then I lost the weight, and, and then we went back into hell again with Amy. Here we go. <laughs> I started putting the weight back on, and then got here, and it got worse. I, like I said, I got to 235, and it got depressing because I got put in the hell again. I dive in. I volunteer. I'm still in. I'm still here. I'm treading water. It's all good, though, man. No, I volunteer to, to go through this stuff with you guys because I love you, and I want to work through this stuff. But back to the topic about, you know, love is scary. It's a very scary thing. I, I told Patrick about it, too, me Nino, you know. You fulfill my life, your mom does, this is my world, you're the king of my world, but son, there's a bunch of pain and suffering and becoming a man today. I can't do nothing about it. It's a cruel, crazy, beautiful world with uh, uh, Johnny Clay, it's Kaluka. Uh, you gotta, it's, it's like that, and you tell your kids, you know, if you're a, a man who wants your son to be a man, you tell them to go do these things. Like I told you many times with Patrick, I'm like, don't be too brave, <laughs> don't do all this. I don't, don't, don't go. Your dad, your dad's already sacrificed ten years of his, of your life, not with him that I could have had. And all the, they took you kicking and screaming. Every time they take you guys away, it's always against my will, and I, it's horrible. And I, I can't stand these people for doing it. And you know they get to take their kids and indoctrinate their kids and turn them into consumers that destroy their planet and segregate and secularize and preach hate and disgust towards people without even really knowing them, I have to be the person who teaches the exact opposite. I'm told I'm crazy and they still sequester my kids and turn them into consumers and then try to secularize them. It's just really cruel, you know. But it's life and it hurts. But if I wasn't a true lover, man, I wouldn't know the pain of it and I wouldn't know how to truly love. See what I'm saying? So, yeah, all women, falling in love with a woman is just one of the scariest things in the world. You know, so they say they that thing, how's I supposed to do something that scares you every day? Wake up and fall in love with your wife again every day. It's really scary. <laughs> it is, man. It's like uh, Bill said, you know, give her everything. Hang on to that little bit. Well, you should everything to God. God's your, she's God's gift to you. Go love her. <laughs> oh, don't put God above her. I mean, don't put, don't put her above God. Um, God is the creator and created this wife for you. Oh, praise be to God. Get up and pray that prayer like Willie Z said, man. Whoa, you know, hey, yeah. all praise be to God. I ain't got no girl, I ain't got no dog. I got a dog, I got friends, I got family. Scary, isn't it? It's scary. Love is scary. But it's very beautiful, but it's scary. And so, you know, you guys are all talking about that. Ralph, if we have to follow the way you're talking about it, it's really scary, man. It is, because it's uh, Frankie Beverly and Mays, man. I was singing it yesterday. But this lady who likes to think she's really cool, maybe we'll be friends. <laughs> I don't know who, what, where, when, why, how, or whatever. It's going. I have this thing going on in my head. It's like, damn, yeah, I was listening to that song, uh, Expressway to Your Heart. I'm like, that ain't me. I ain't going to. I just pull off in the off up and find a girl on the rest area. How you doing? Met a girl. <laughs>
But I'm not the type who would have make love in my Chevy van and then just leave her there and say it's a shame by passing this way again. I'd be like, I think I'm staying here for a while. <laughs> I really like it. If you hundred, but she wouldn't just. She'd take her time. She, you have to get to know me. All right, I'll get to know you. <laughs> How much you got? You got. I got a whole lifetime. How much you got? I don't fuck around. I won't waste my time. You either serious or you're not. You serious? Okay. Well, let's get to know each other. Well, what if it doesn't work? Well, then we try, man. That's all we gotta do, right? So that's the type of person I am. I like to put in the effort, though. I ain't about fucking around with it, though. Excuse my language. I'm not here to waste my time. My time is precious to me. <laughs> and I, you know, I got other things I could be doing. I got a dog, I got friends, I got kids, I got family. If you're not about making up your mind, you're not about trying anything serious, I ain't really seriously got any time to talk to you, alright? <laughs> Bye! <laughs> that's the way I'm with all of you, too, about this stuff, too. Let's sit down in committee and discuss this. I ain't got time for this shit. I'll see you. Bye. You think you know everything? No. I can just, I can figure out certain things. Bombing each other, bad. Killing each other, bad. Shoot each other, bad. It's making each other afraid of each other and not trying to understand each other, but wanting to know everybody's in business and then using it against them, bad. Giving people privacy and respecting their dignity and showing this that we can be respected and, 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 and be dignified to one another. Respect each other's beliefs and customs and things and stuff like that. And realize once they start crossing over into the other people's life, a lot like Saladin. <laughs> yeah, once we start behaving a lot more like him, that good. <laughs> what you guys are doing now, bad. Trying to control people. <laughs> we know how better than you. And we, yeah, you've been doing a great fucking job. I like, the, I like all this shit. The DDT, the poison, well, that's them. Well, no, you created this shit. Don't you take some credit for it, too. Well, if it was me, it would be a better place. Well, then stop making it you. And start changing. Well, they have the free will to do this. Yeah, well, we have the free will to teach them not to be such stupid schmucks. Turn me loose. <laughs> All these people claiming to be Christians and claiming to know Jesus. Turn his nephew loose. Let him go. We have the science to prove it. This is all just a computer program they made from a video game and stuff like that. But yeah, but when, yeah, this video game is kicking your ass. Everything you say is illegit and is completely stupid. Eh? Well, then the stupid people will follow. Well, then we'll see what happens to them. Look, it's, it's like that on uh, for Ice Age. Ice Age come out. The first one was funny. Remember the dodos? When they were trying to get the melon with Sid and all that? <laughs> if you didn't have <laughs> prepare for the Ice Age, then doom on you. Doom on you. <laughs> That's our last. There goes our last female. <laughs> Look, dinner and show. It was funny. But that's how a lot of y'all act. Doom on you. It's like, no, man. That's not have doom on you. Let's share. The kid needs some food. There's more food. We'll get it. Come on. <laughs> We're going to let the saber tiger, your tiger, tiger uh, eat half of you, and then you won't have to worry about food. Now get the melon to the kid and stop it. <laughs> we got to feed the kid. <laughs> if you didn't prepare to feed your kids, <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's uh, Just share. There'll be more food. We'll find some more food. So just be rational, man. Okay. If we work together, we'll make more food. We'll make more trees. We'll take care of each other. You don't want nuclear energy, okay? You don't. You want... Renewable energy, and you don't have to worry about selling it to each other and creating these businesses. They'll sustain upon it. Just have some people show up to work and do like that, recognize them, and then give them the resources they need to live. People need a house. People need food. People need clean water. You don't charge us for water. And as a community, we could actually sit there. I could sit there and run this thing. I'm not going to do it in my dad's house here because it goes straight into his septic tank. He's out of pump with the different things. But if I'm in the city of Las Cruces and I'm doing this, I'm doing you a favor by running the water. I'm not saying everybody do that, but you could have it in certain times of the day and certain times when the water gets kind of snagged. Could you guys please run a bath or run the water through your pipes? No, we're not charging. You just do it to keep the water running through so it keeps it more clean. Well, no, we're not going to charge you for it. Just don't go empty it all in your yard because in the desert it's gold and we don't. Okay, cool. All right, thanks. We'll do it. Why are you running the water? Well, we're just cleaning through the pipes and we're keeping the water running through. It keeps it cleaner. So we're in the desert. The water gets stagnant in the aquifers. So, cool. Let's move it. All right, let's get it running. Good job. Sounds like a plan. Wake up. I love you. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so don't be scared. And and try not to be lonely. Try to be sweet. Uh, find your connections. So, no, I can't connect it. We already discussed that whole molecular thing. <laughs> okay. I ain't doing it. One baby girl. All I can handle. She's more than I can handle, and she's more than I'll ever need. <laughs> okay. I don't know where she's at. <laughs> Somewhere, somebody, <laughs> hoping, praying, tell me where in the world. I don't know. Only God knows. I'm going to let God decide, all right? How about you guys? But let's work on this together, all right? Peace.